Hi, welcome to the Sankofa Pan African series. First, have you downloaded your free copy of our children's illustrated biography of African legends yet? Please do so if you haven't. Don't forget that we owe our children a responsibility to expose them to our history. Also, please help us to continue bringing you videos like this one by supporting us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Please subscribe, share and like our videos. Our legend today is George Padmo, Pan-Africanist, journalist and author. George Padmo was given the names Malcolm Ivan Meredith Nurse at birth. He was born in 1903 to the family of James Hubert Alfonso Nurse, a local schoolmaster, and Anna Susanna Simister, a naturalist. He was born in Trinidad. Now, his paternal great-grandfather was an Ashanti warrior who was taken prisoner and sold into slavery at Barbados where his grandfather was then born. Malcolm Ivan Meredith Nurse attended Tranquility School in Port of Prince before going to St. Mary's College in 1914. He, he then transferred to the Pamphylian High School from where he graduated in 1918. After working for several years as a reporter with the Trinidad Publishing Company, he married Julia Semper and migrated to the United States to study medicine at Fisk University in Tennessee. Um, this was in 1924. Nurse attended New York University but soon transferred to Howard University. It was during his college years that he became involved with the workers, also known as the Communist Party. It was while engaged with this party that he adopted the name George Padmore. He officially joined the Communist Party in 1927, when he was in Washington, D.C., and was active in its mass organization to target Black Americans and the American Negro Labor Congress. In March 1929, he was a non-voting delegate to the 6th National Convention of the Communist Party held in New York City. Padmore was selected by uh, the Communist Party to go to Moscow to deliver a report on the reformation of the uh, Trade Union Unity League in 1929. Following his presentation, Padmore stayed in Russia to head the Negro Bureau of the Red International Labor Union. As head of the Council's Negro Bureau, he helped to produce pamphlet literature and contributed articles to Moscow's English language newspaper, the Moscow Daily News. In July 1930, Padmore was instrumental in organizing an international conference in Hamburg, Germany. He also lived in Vienna, uh, Austria, where he edited the monthly publication of the new group, The Negro Worker. His activities in Germany ended in 1933, when the offices of the Negro Worker were ransacked by ultranationalist gangs following the Nazi seizure of power. So he became disillusioned when he saw that the Soviet Union was more interested in pursuing diplomatic alliances with colonial powers at the expense of colonized people. He severed his connections with the communist movement, which retaliated by expelling him. Meanwhile, he was barred from re-entry into the United States because he was a non-citizen 
and the government did not want to admit him because of his connection to communism. Padmore remained a socialist and kept looking for new ways to work for African independence from imperial rule. He relocated to France and began to write a book, How Britain Rules Africa. It was published in 1936. In 1934, Padmore moved to London, where he became part of a community of writers dedicated to Pan-Africanism and African independence. His boyhood friend, C.L.R. James, also from Trinidad, was already um, in London by, by this time. And then he was there writing and had started the International African Friends of Ethiopia in response to Italy's invasion of Ethiopia. The organization developed into the International African Service Bureau, IASB which became a center for African and Caribbean intellectuals and their um, anti-colonial activities. Padmore was chair. Um, Chris Braithwaite uh, was its organizing uh, secretary. He was from Barbados. And uh, James edited his periodicals, um, International African Opinion. Ras Makonen, who was from the British Guyana, handled the business end. Other key members included Jomo Kenyatta from Kenya and Amy Ashwood Gavi. They published small periodicals which were sometimes seized by authorities when they reached the colonies. They also published articles in other people's periodicals. Uh, for instance, the Independent Labour Party's new leader. Now, when Kwame Nkrumah arrived in London in May 1945, to study law, Padmore was on hand and he met him at the station. Padmore, Padmore was then organizing the 1945 uh, Manchester Pan-African Congress, which was attended by people like uh, W.E.B. Du Bois. The Manchester Conference helped set the agenda for decolonization in the post-World uh, post War period. Padmore used London as his base for more than two decades while maintaining connections across the world, sending articles to international newspapers and keeping up a correspondence with American writers and activists like Du Bois and Richard Wright. At Padmore's urging, Richard Wright traveled to the Gold Coast um, which is now uh, Ghana, to experience the build-up to that country's independence. He wrote The uh, Black Power in 1954. Padmore encouraged Nkrumah to write his autobiography. He also accepted Nkrumah's invitation to move to Ghana. Unfortunately, he died on September 23rd, 1959, aged only 56, at University College Hospital in London. After his death, Nkrumah paid him glowing tribute. Um, an example was the tribute he paid him um, on radio, uh, in a radio broadcast, and, and I quote, One day, the whole of Africa will surely be free and united, and when the final tale is told, the significance of George Padmore's work will be revealed. Padmore's ashes were buried at a Christianburg castle in Ghana on October 4th, 1959. On June 30th, 1963, the George Padmore Research Library was established in Accra, Ghana. And in 1991, the George Padmore Institute based in North London, was founded. Thanks for watching. Please download your free copy of our children's books and support us through Patreon or by buying me coffee. Also, tell your friends about this channel. Thank you.